Hi, I'm Tony Fleming. Welcome to Fleming's Ultimate Garage. Hey, just pulled the hanging tag off this 88 Mercedes 560 SL Roadster. Um, we'll spend a little time walking around this car. This car is pretty cool. This is actually the lowest mileage uh, uh, 560 SL in the country right now. It has 5,872 original miles. It's been stored in a climate controlled garage. We have every state inspection sticker with the mileage notated every year since its birth in a beautiful binder. We have every inspection sticker. We have every service record. We have the warranty books, the keys, the owner's manual, uh, the first aid kit. We also have the unopened uh, introductory cassette tape uh, when the car was sold new to tell you about the car uh, from a Mercedes Benz. Um, as we walk around the car, there's some really cool stuff about this. I love low mileage stuff because to me, like low mileage stuff is worth whatever you pay for it forever uh, because it's, you just can't replace it. Like this car has not been restored. Um, it has the original Pirellis on the car still. They seem to be in really good shape. Somebody's obviously taking care of them. The paint has never been painted. We've metered the whole car. It's all original paint. The original pinstripe on the car. The interior is absolutely spectacular. The paint's called uh, Diamond Blue Metallic. And with the, uh, with the dark blue leather and a dark blue German canvas top, it looks spectacular. It also comes with a removable hard top, which is aluminum, uh, and we'll show you what that looks like also. Here's the uh, hard top to, uh, to this SL, and it uh, comes with a cover, comes with a factory stand. And I just wanted you guys to see the spectacular condition of this top. I mean, it's really spectacular. Glass is crystal clear. The headline of it is perfect. Look at the paint on the top, and it changes the whole look of the car. In the winter time, or in the fall, and you want to put the hard top on, uh, it becomes a very different looking car because of the cloth top up. It looks very much like a convertible and a roadster, and this changes it to a coupe look. So you get like two cars uh, every year. It's kind of cool. But uh, the top is in equally spectacular condition as well as the car is. Just take a peek here at the interior of this car. It's absolutely spectacular. The leather's still supple. It has the original Mercedes floor mats in it still. Nothing has been changed or modified on this car. A lot of times you'll see the burl wood uh, will crack over time. Uh, due to being you know aged and in the sun and things like that the wood in here is virtually flawless you know this was somebody's baby who uh, finally you know 20 years later uh, was able to to give it up and maybe move on and whoever gets this car i'm kind of hoping and uh, they're hoping too will will take over the the caring for this so uh, uh, the nice thing about this too is uh, you can enter this in a vintage uh, mercedes show now and it's also actually never been shown so you'd be the first to show the car and I don't know, uh, in the unrestored class, I mean, this could clearly be a winner. Let's uh, take a look under the hood, because it has a lot of great stuff in it still. The one thing about these cars is they are ridiculously fast. Most people don't drive them that way, but uh, you know, these things, these are truly the muscle car uh, of the German auto industry. So we call them German muscle cars. All the stickers are still here. And this is really cool. This stuff right here, uh, this small bit of film that's on here, it's called Cosmoline. And what they would do is when these cars were shipped from overseas, the salt water could deteriorate hoses and things like that. So what they do is they sprayed parts of the engine with Cosmoline. And the dealer was supposed to actually remove this with this uh, Cosmoline uh, uh, breakdown degreaser. And uh, this wasn't done, so it's actually pretty cool. It's still all sealed with the factory stuff on it. And you can see where the, uh, where the technician got a little bit of overspray right here. But everything is really, look at all the stickers. Nothing's been changed or replaced on this car. Uh, all the VIN stickers are still here. Still has this, the original bare radiator, uh, the code tag. Here's the VIN number to the car right here. Come on and get a shot of this. This part's important because this way you know the car hasn't been wrecked because you can't buy this piece with a VIN number. When you buy this new piece and the car has to be done with, in an accident, they won't stamp the VIN number on it for you. And that's a good sign for originality. All the original stickers. Uh, it has been converted over to 134 air conditioning, so it's significantly less uh, if you ever have to recharge it, but the air conditioning works great in this car. Fit and finish, the sound of closure and things like that, typical Mercedes-Benz. The polished stainless steel bumpers, and uh, this also has a gorgeous trunk. Mercedes does a nice job with the SL trunk. It's just still in spectacular shape. Sorry if I'm rambling on too much, but uh, anytime you have a, a 5,878 mile car, factory temperature gauge, original Becker Grand Prix sound system, uh, it just, 
I don't know, just seems really, really nice. And uh, normally we rev the cars up because they sound so great and they're throaty and things like that. We're gonna start this car because it sounds so great and smooth and quiet and powerful. But just, I mean, smooth. Here's my hand, the car's running. And just smooth as silk. I'll give it a little rev for you, but it's, you know, these things make close to 300 horsepower. And, uh, and with a four-speed automatic and overdrive, they roll on down the road. Power windows, climate control, air conditioning, power locks, uh, cruise control, just loaded with accessories, four-wheel disc brakes with ABS, ahead of their time with airbags, and uh, just, a, just a really nice car. And I don't know if you know this or not, but this area back here, you can actually get a, a seat for back here, and you can put two seat belts in. That way you can carry some people in there if you want to. But I'll show you uh, the top wheel real quick. Here's a convertible top. It's absolutely beautiful, and it's the original convertible top in dark blue. The window's nice and clear. Back in here, look how clean and everything, like the cables and the, and the mechanisms are. This car was very, very expensive for its time uh, in 1988. So, uh, you know, typically these cars today uh, sell in the 90 to 125,000 range for the new SL versions. And these were consistent with dollars back then. You know, in closing, on a car like this, um, it's a great looking color. It's, uh, it's not like a, like a bronze, well, not that bronze isn't good looking, but it's, uh, it's a great color. It's a great color combination with the light blue, with the dark blue leather interior and the dark blue cloth top ridiculously low miles with incredible history and documentation to document all those. So when you went to a car show, you could open that book up and see, you know, 20 plus years of, of, uh, of Virginia inspections on this car. So we know that somebody cared for it. Otherwise, they wouldn't have saved all those things. We're Fleming's Ultimate Garage. We're very proud to present perhaps the lowest mileage 560 SL in the country. Call us 301-816-1000. We'll tell you all about it.